This video is sponsored by PokeTownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. They have code cards from a huge variety of sets, so definitely check it out, PokeTownStore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How cool is that? What's up YouTube, it's Zadogs TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel. Today we're going to be playing with some water types uh, in the form of Blastos and Piplup Tag Team GX. Stefan Ivanov made this deck uh, actually epic because uh, it came out of nowhere and surprised everyone and we have not checked it out on the channel just yet. But with uh, of course interesting attacks like Splash Maker which uh, makes sure that we can heal off some damage for every water energy we attach from the hand. We can attach 3 water energies after using that attack and we also have the Bubble Launcher GX and uh, we can paralyze the opponent and also so smack huge amount of damage to them so we uh, of course are gonna rely on Quagsire we already checked out Quagsire with Nagadadal this time around we have a lot of tag team attackers so that's why there is a tackle engine in here we have ba Blastos and Piplup we also have uh, the Megalupony and Jigglypuff which can actually smack a lot of opponents which uh, actually overplay G-axis and we have the Sil Valley engine Sil Valley with Disc Reload can uh, draw us a lot of cards and set ourselves up and we're gonna be uh, attaching energies thanks to the form of Red and Blue evolving one of our uh, yeah, type Nulls into Sil Valley getting energies immediately and then we can move them around with Quagsire. That is the main strategy. We also have Mew to uh, even spread some damage with Psypire, but also uh, protects our bench against some spread, uh, spread archetypes because we do have weak HP Pokemon like Wooper and of course Ditto Prism Star. Caldeo GX is also part of the squad because of the pure heart ability, making sure that every attack or an effect uh, of GXs is uh, not done to uh, Caldeo GX. It's invincible against GXs. That's why it's in here. And we also have uh, this other Sil Valley with the uh, Rebel GX sometimes can come out of nowhere, but also can accelerate energies from the discard pile thanks to turbo drive and make sure that every uh, basic pokemon has free retreat imagine these huge hp pokemon having free retreat that's awesome and that's why we're gonna test this card out for setup we're gonna be using professor oak setup because we can get of course three different types uh, on play immediately we can get out a whooper and uh, we can also get out the ditto and also get maybe a Marshadow up to uh, actually get rid of some certain stadium cards. But it's a, a nice combination altogether because uh, we can always rely on Ditto to be that other type. Okay, let's test this out. Uh, this, uh, since this is a tag call engine, we also have, a core, of course, uh, Mellow and Lana. But, of course, the Blastoise and Piplup also has a huge amount of healing capabilities uh, with it. So, we'll see here if this list is still relevant. Uh, this is uh, a list that got uh, shown at the Internationals thanks to Stefan Ivanov. And it actually is an interesting list since it relies on uh, red and blue. We don't see that often. Dark Box sometimes uses red and blue, but uh, it has not seen the success as we wanted it to have. So we'll uh, just have to stick with Quagsire, which also does uh, kind of the same thing like Weevil. Weevil can uh, move them around anywhere, but uh, Quagsire can move water type energies all the way to the active position, but only to the active position. Okay. We'll see what opponent we uh, come across on the versus ladder. We already checked out a bazillion amount of uh, decks in this format already, even rogue decks like Tangrowth. Definitely check them out on the channel if you don't know what to play at your next regionals or maybe uh, upcoming internationals. I'm very curious to see what archetypes might pop out of nowhere. We've seen, of course, the Binder Drop deck also. That is uh, kind of like a deck that uses everything checkmate style. This time around, we are facing off probably against an... Uh, uh, Reshizard, I would say, could also be something else. We won the coin flip, which is nice because our little whoopers do need some uh, yeah, time to evolve into this crazy... Uh, okay, crazy Quagsires. Okay, we have Caldeo on the active position. Could be worse. We don't have any other uh, whooper or uh, Sil Valley or actually Type Null in the hand, so that is not good. Okay, we're up against a bird trio, which is fine by us. We're gonna be smacking Ka the uh, Kalex well down. We're gonna give an energy to the Keldeo and we're gonna spam with Cynthia. Not a bad way to start this off. The bad news is that this uh, Sky Legend GX could also dish out 110 damage. So we hopefully evolve uh, these cards as quickly as possible. So I'm gonna get out one Type Null, uh, one Ditto, and hopefully we will evolve them because if we evolve them, they will have more HP. So that is the main plan of action. We need a Quagsire, we need uh, Sil Valley, and uh, we'll see how, how we go from there. Okay, we could be uh, doing worse here, uh, to be honest, because we have Kelly on the active position, which cannot be hurt by G-axis at all. Also, Kyle as well is in play, which means no power plant can come into play. So this is an ADP list with the Bird Trio. Okay. The good news about this particular matchup is that, uh, yeah, Caldeo is kind of like uh, MVP, since he all, all has uh, tag team G-axis, and G-axis cannot hit us. 
Also, it's a greens list, probably playing custom catchers, so our little Pokemon on the bench might not be safe. Okay, that is it. What will we do? We're gonna be using red and blue. We have the uh, great catcher, so we might as well smack it down. So we're gonna use the uh, search our deck for a GX, and we're also gonna discard two energies, actually two cards. Uh, what will we discard? We can attach up the turn, so that is gonna be fantastic. Great catcher is also a way to bring this up on the active slot. Okay, let's see here. I think we're gonna get rid of the Megalopony, which is only able to smack uh, 108. That's actually not. Uh, we're gonna get rid of Great Catcher and the uh, Water and the Mallow and Lana. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of those two, and we're gonna evolve immediately into the Silk Valley with the Disc Reload. We have a lot of those, so we're gonna evolve. And then uh, we're actually gonna hopefully get a Quagsire so we can start attacking. We either immediately get two energies, so the red and blue is working out in our favor. This guy can already start swinging some damage. We're gonna be giving an energy to the Caldeo. We might smack down Mega Lupani to draw more cards and make it uh, very aggressive since this list uh, might, yeah, it, it does have to like uh, 240. That means uh, my, this ADP, Moltres, Zabdos Articuno can one shot us. So I'm not gonna use that. I'm just gonna go with the Disc Reload and draw four cards. And there is a Quagsire in here, which is fantastic to say the least. So that means Arcaldeo is able to start swinging for a huge amount of damage. And uh, we're just gonna go for 110. Might not seem like a lot, but uh, in the end, it will work out in our favor. Okay, we're gonna wash out, get one energy to the Caldeo. Uh, we can also start swinging with Sil Valley here, which can smack 120, but that's not the way we want to go about this. Also, if he smacks more bench Pokemon, we can dish out more damage, but Sonic Edge, he might have Mallow and Lana, now that I think about it, but it is what it is. He cannot hit us, which is fantastic. Ta-da! I wonder if they have an answer against Caldeo. They have Sky Legends, he, can, he might use that. He's probably gonna switch, use Mallow and Lana and start attacking with ADP. Or use uh, the Altered Creation, at least. Okay, Green's Exploration, is that gonna be a Switch card? Probably a Switch card. If I had to guess. We have more Chaotic Swells to go around. There's a Switch, there's a Faba. Okay, he needs the Faba for the Chaotic Swell to smack down Power Plant. I understand that. But we do have another Caldex well, but it's gonna be very scary if he can get off the, okay, victory sign. Accelerating energies, that means now he has three Pokemon, that means we smack 150 with the Resolute Blade GX. Which is actually very interesting because the other Cell Valley also smacks the same amount of damage. Alright, what do we want? Uh, this guy actually smacks 60 damage plus 60 more for each GX the opponent has in play. He has two in play, so that means 180 damage. Not what we want at this point, so we can tackle. Can get Blastoise and Piplup. This is an interesting card, so we're gonna get that. We also have Mallow and Lana, and Cynthia and Catelyn. Okay. Let's get this up and rolling. And see if the opponent has a way to deal with us. So, first things first. This, he's probably gonna use uh, Alter Creation Jack, so we might as well smack down another Type Null. Use Cynthia and Catelyn, and uh, we're actually gonna discard the red and blue, since I don't think we'll be needing that at this point. And draw three cards. Yeah, we get back, maybe we can get back uh, the Cynthia here, so we can refresh our hand. And here we go, drawing cards. Okay, we have an attachment of the turn again, which is fantastic. We can communication for whatever we need. So at this point, I'm actually very fine at attaching the energy to this type null because we can reattach it anyhow later. So more Kyrex spells to go around. So at this point, it's just fine using Sonic Edge. We don't have Great Catcher, we discard it, but it is fine as it is. We can come out of nowhere, right? Okay, here comes the 220 damage. We get one prize card. In the process so we do see that uh, this deck is capable of uh, stalling a lot i wonder if the opponent has more custom catchers the only thing he has to do is like uh, custom catch two pokemon knock them out and he should be good but we actually maybe should have not benched type null because our caldeo is also here although he has faba but he can only use faba once okay here comes the ultra creation gx what to do now we can smack for 180 Brave Buddies, Silver Knight, 180. Is that going to be a nice scenario? 180, he can heal 120, that means 
still need to smack for a huge amount of damage. Maybe we should go for Blastoise and Piplup. Yeah, I'm gonna smack down Blastoise and Piplup. Also gonna smack down this Sil Valley. So we have two Sil Valleys. The bad thing is that if he knocks out two Sil Valley, Sil, Sil Valleys, it's over. Okay, I'm gonna go for a good old Cynthia. We'll see how we go from there. Maybe we can uh, do some crazy stuff. We have more energies to go around. Tackle is as well. Okay, side power could be a way. We can put some damage there. We have Mars Shadow, not that we need that. This GX move, if your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed, if this Pokemon has at least three extra in addition to the attack, 150 more. So that's 250 damage. That is very interesting. 250 damage while also paralyzing this guy. He has used the switch card. Maybe he has more switch cards to go around. But I think I'm gonna go for uh, the GX move where we paralyze him. He could use Mallow and Lana, but then he's kind of like stuck. So I'm just gonna retreat. I'm gonna go attacking with the Blastoise and Piplup because I know he's gonna use Faba either way. One energy there. And two energies over there. We can even use the attack a Splash Maker to accelerate some more energies and heal some more damage. We only have one energy in the hand, so, so that is not the best way to go about this. Also going to use Communication while I'm at it to just check what else we might throw at the opponent. Could smack down another Wooper. The Marsh Shadow is not a way we can go about this. This is also a mystery card that he does not know about. But I might uh, get it in here as well. All right, what else? Stack all, using all the cards while we're at it. Yeah, ta -da. Getting so many cards in the hand, it's fantastic. So what now? We can uh, smack down another type null. Is that a good idea? We need to need make some room for the other one. So just gonna go with this. I'm gonna go for Bubble Lancer GX. That at least means he needs, um, he's paralyzed. That's only 100 damage, but if he has Mallow and Lala, he needs a way to retreat, so maybe he has an energy in the, in the hand, although he already has three energies, four energies, five energies in play. I wonder how many energies this kind of a list plays. If he saw the Blasters and uh, Piplup coming, maybe he's using Tackle to find Mallow and Lana. It's also a way out, and he can also heal as well, but I wonder. Reset Stam, that's fine. We have uh, the Cell Valleys covering our uh, hand, which is fantastic. This guy is paralyzed. Hopefully he does not have Mellow and Lana. He has Cynthia and Catelyn. That is not a Mellow and Lana, which is fantastic. So the only thing we will need at this point is finding our Lupani. Yeah. Mega Lupani and Jigglypuff will easily KO this guy for 180 damage. And they can see. So yeah, that's how we go. Uh, so uh, the Silvalli Quagsire deck comes out on top. We're going to be playing another round with this kind of a deck because uh, it's very peculiar to ho to go about certain matchups. So that the Blastoise move was fantastic. Paralyzing can be very dangerous. I knew already that he used the switch card and he uses a green for the switch. So in that regard, I was like, hmm, maybe he doesn't have a switch card or Mellow and Lana after that. So I was fine using Blastoise. Either way, he needed Mellow and Lana and an energy. So that's fantastic for us. Another round here with uh, the crazy Sil Valley Quagsire list that uh, revolves around red and blue. I'm uh, very interested to see what uh, else we can uh, perform here uh, on this video. Okay, we're looking for an opponent. We'll see what uh, is waiting uh, for us on the other side of the world. And uh, I can already tell you that Sil Valley, if you're up against, let's say, Nagadadal Guzzlord, we have that GX move of Sil Valley as well. One hitting KOing attack team, uh, actually, an uh, Ultra Beast out of nowhere. So. This is uh, Hiro Taka, 729817 as our opponent with a neat looking Groudon coin. We won again, so uh, the luck is in our favor, so we're gonna go again. Uh, hopefully we start again with uh, that Caldeo, that was fantastic. Okay, we start with Type Null. Starting with Type Null is actually not bad. I'm gonna save my Quagsire in the bench, that's always something you have to do here. Uh, might as well smack him down right now and see what we are up against. We have uh, both of the evolutions in our hand, but no attachment of the turn. Okay, another one of these. I think I'm gonna go for communication while I'm at it, and uh, I'm actually gonna get rid of the Quagsire, and we're actually gonna use Cynthia either way, so I'm gonna get... Hmm, do we get out another one? Maybe Ditto Prism Star is the best plan of action. This is a tag team deck, so Caldeo might also be a nice option, but uh, I wonder... No, not getting out Ditto, he has the linear attack, that would be stupid, so 
in this regard, I'm fine getting out Caldeo. Maybe another Wooper is the better play, though. Maybe a Wooper. Type Null does have a one retreat cost. Hmm. Type Null. He's gonna snipe either way. I don't think he's gonna get this com combo off, although Miss Magius is kind of a thing in this deck. I think I'm gonna go for the safe route and get out two Wooper, two Type Nulls. Um, we can just manually draw into the Cell Valley either way. And here comes the Cynthia. So two Type Null, two Wooper. I think that's a safe play. We even have Acrobike and a Chaotic Swell. Might as well smack that down. Do we attach of the turn here? He might knock us out immediately with the right place. Hmm. What if he knocks us out? I think I'm gonna play it safe. If we draw into a Quagsire, we can attack either way, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna get it to the type. No, we do have red and blue. Might as well use an Acrobike while we're at it. Finding a Water Energy, that's fine. With red and blue, we evolve into the type, uh, to the Cell Valley. And we're immediately gonna smack 120 to make it a very fierce battle. Also, manually retreating is an option if we wanna go to, like, uh, the Caldeo route. Okay, Lily for one? Oh, wow. I'm very curious to see the Lily for one. Okay, he already gets rid of the Kyrax. Well, wow, that is very, very, very strange. Okay, what I'm gonna do is gonna go for Tackle. I'm gonna get out my Blastoise and Piplup. And uh, right now, I think I'm gonna go for Cynthia and Catelyn. No, not really. Not really. I'm gonna go for Blastoise and something I want to discard. Maybe two Blastoise and discarding one Blastoise. Because we do are gonna have some drop power with us. So red and blue, yeah, we're gonna evolve into the Cell Valley. We're gonna get rid of one Blastoise, one energy, and we're gonna preserve some energies in the hand. And we're gonna evolve into our uh, Disc Reload Cell Valley. And we're gonna evolve this guy. That means we can easily search two water energies, and that's that. So that's how the deck functions. Red and blue, Cell Valley is up and rolling, an attachment of the turn. I'm actually gonna spread them around a little bit since we uh, only want to find the... Uh, yeah, might as well smack down the uh, Blasters and Piplup, not gonna do that, he might have great catchers. So Disc Reload, drawing cards after accelerating energies, oof, the Mew. The Mew could actually protect our bench from linear attacks, I think that's not a bad plan. I'm gonna smack down the Mew, and we're gonna go for good old uh, Brave Buddies. Yeah, that is fine, 120 damage, making sure that the opponent is kinda getting scared. We can then manually retreat and finish the job with our good friend Blastoise and Plip-Up. 150 damage with the Splash Maker will be more than enough to take care of this uh, yeah, Tina Chomp. Another Lily. Is this the Roxy version? I don't know what this kind of a list is. Maybe it's Malamar and a, a crazy bricking Malamar to say the least. So this is game. So we're gonna... We can even go crazy with another red and blue. Look at that. Red and blue gets rid of these two cards. Again. Ta -ta -ta. We're gonna evolve into another. Okay, they concede. Everybody concedes today. That's how we go with it. We're gonna play one more round today and see if we are able to showcase the pure power once again. So, uh, Quagsire and Sil Valley are definitely, definitely working out in our favor. And uh, now we are looking for the last opponent of this video. Will it be another quick win? Because it does showcase that the deck is very consistent. The only thing you need is like a Silvalli to draw into your Quagsire and uh, you're off your rolling. With the attack call you can find your big attackers like Blastoise and Piplup or maybe Megalupani and uh, Jigglypuff. There's a lot of ways you can go about this. Maybe you can even uh, adapt this list to be playing ADP as well since you can accelerate energies very quickly and then smack them onto the ADP. We'll see. Okay, we're up against Ability Zard or Mewtwo. I have to, have to say Mewtwo. I think this is a Mewtwo list. Mewtwo uses a lot of G-axis, so uh, maybe that can be in our favor. Dark Jaguar 7-9. We won again, so the coin flip definitely going in our favor, showcasing the true power of this uh, weird archetype. Okay, very scary hand. We only have a Caldeo and a Wooper to work with. We're gonna wait. Maybe we have a communication and we can get a Sil Valley. Actually, a Type Null, because uh, this hand is ridiculous. I think getting a, a Type Null will be better in this scenario. Okay. We have Kyrox Well, immediately smacking that down, getting an energy to the Caldeo. Um, yeah, might as well smack down the Wooper. Yay! And uh, yeah, we can even heal some damage off if we want to, but that's it. Very, very scary because we don't have a supporter. We do have a supporter in the form of Melon and Lana, but it's not gonna help us out too much. 
Heatran, Welder. Okay, this is Blacephalon GX. He is not able to burn us. He can take a prize card, though. That's the only attack that will work against our uh, Caldeo GX. Mysterious Treasure will well see some Naganadas, so Caldeo will not last too long. The good news is Kylex well stops him from using Ultra Space, and that will be good. Hopefully we will draw into like uh, Cynthia, Cynthia and Catelyn, Tackle, any of those cards will do just fine. Okay, here you go. Go for the Burst GX. He did not use a support. Yeah, he did use Welder, so yeah, Psychic Attachment onto the Poipole. Interesting. The Dedane. One, two, three. That's already a lot of GXs, so Megalopony and Jigglypuff can actually come swinging in and then knock uh, a yeah, GX out very quickly. That is an option, but we still are in a huge amount of trouble. Here comes the treasure. He's get rid he gets rid of the Great Catcher. That's a good thing to note, so that our Cell Valley on the bench will be safe. It's cool to see uh, Gladion in the background as well. Very crazy setup, to say the least. I mean, he's gonna go for burst Bursting Burn. That does not work, man. That does not work. Yeah, too bad, man. We're gonna say the smiley face. Gonna smack down the type null, gonna give an energy to the Caldeo, and uh, we're gonna call it a day. That's how we go very quickly, very smoothly. Caldeo is ready to smack a lot of opponents. We can use the GX move, so even if he goes with the Nagata Dao, he. Yeah, we can knock that out with the GX move. Even though using the GX move of Silver Knight GX is even better. I want to showcase that as well. This is a way we can go about it. If we can get this off, find ourselves. Uh, the good old Quagsire, we can then attack with Silvalli to use Silver Knight GX. Wouldn't that be fun, right? Cherish Ball. The good news is that Caldeo is like uh, immune for those uh, Blacephalons, so if he wants to retaliate with uh, the crazy moves of using B strings in a turn, I think we have the upper hand. We can also hit for weakness, so at this point he has to retreat because Caldeo is now forming a true threat for the opponent. And uh, yeah, Ultra Conversion is live, so that means. He only has going to be using like one um, Naganadal of uh, the Charging Up, the one from Lost Thunder. I wonder why he did not use Burst GX. Maybe he's he did not know that all the effects also do not uh, hurt Caldeo. Either way, oh yeah, here Beast Energy can snipe for a huge amount of damage. Not that that's going to matter too much here. Very easily going to go for Attach here. Mm, Cell Valley there. Um... Not gonna use tackle, gonna use that after the disc reload. Disc reload of three cards. Ta 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 ta. Communication. Quagsire is live. Ladies and gentlemen, this deck is so smooth, you have no idea. We can now get our appropriate attackers up and rolling. So we have Quagsire, we have the uh, tackle again. And we can find ourselves. Megalupony is a great attacker, and uh, Cynthia and Callan is also kind of the way to go in this scenario since we don't have any color cards to work with. We also have Mellow and Long, so we can switch and uh, even attack with Silver Knight Jack. But at this point, I'm just uh, more safe of using like Caldeo. So we're gonna put the energy in the discard pile and we're drawing three cards. Yay! Hooray! Okay, the Professor Oak setup is not necessary at this point, but here comes Sonic Edge. A super effective move on Blacephalon GX. So Blacephalon GX cannot touch Caldeo. Heatran cannot touch Caldeo. The Naganadel GX also cannot touch us. So at this point, I'm very fine uh, with our current build because we have uh, a way to go about like uh, reset stamps with Disc Reload. We still have access to our GX move. So even if he comes with this, we can just retreat, attach of turn, and go for the Silver Knight GX. B String is live at this point. And he probably has another great catcher, then he can knock us out. I don't think this guy can knock us out, but he can knock out our Quagsire. I, I, I'm fine with that at this point. Because, yeah, maybe we should have smacked down the Mew. Now, while I'm, uh, that might have been a stupid play. Oh well. Nothing we can do about it, right? And even if he gets out another... Yeah, he can still add, add, uh, add no, one Pokemon to his bench. That means we only smack 200. Oof. Not the best scenario, although uh, we definitely need Quagsire. Definitely need Quagsire. Okay, reset stamp. Find ourselves Great Catcher. That would be fantastic. Okay, Great Catcher it is. We're going to go after that Heatran, and the game should end there smoothly. Although we lose Quagsire, we attach one energy to the Self Valley, and uh, we should be golden here. We're going to go for Great Catcher, get rid of Marshadow, get rid of Professor Oak, and then afterwards, smack down Cynthia. Okay, he gets rid of the Kyrax well. Not able to use Ultra Space though, and he's gonna go sniping 
with Venom Shot. He can even go for Injection Jax at the price card. But I've never seen anyone use Injection Jax to be honest, but th it is an option. That means this guy is alive, we can retreat, we can go for Silver Knight Jax. I wonder what the opponent will decide at this point. B-string again, so B-strings everywhere. Is that, I think it's his uh, third B-string. This uh, Naganadel is filled with like eight energies and Venom shotting on uh, Quagsire. Yeah, that's the most logical play, but he will never survive afterwards. All the energies are on Naganadel. Kaleo is just immune for this guy, so I wonder what plan of action he has. Maybe he's waiting till we have uh, like three prize cards, or he has three prize cards remaining. Either way, great catcher, getting that uh, easy target of Heatran, and uh, we're actually gonna get that one energy to Self Valley. Even go for the uh, Disc Reload while we're at it. Can you Cynthia later? Maybe we have some more resources. There's a Ditto, he can snipe that if he wants to, but he is down either way. So this and then Cynthia. This Ditto can evolve into either Quagsire or another Self Valley, so I think we're good at this point. So might as well use communication to find ourselves. Another whooper? Not really, this guy only needs one energy, so I'm just gonna smack this down, keep our hand as it is, go for the tackle, finding ourselves Blastoise, Megalupony, anything is possible at this point. Yeah, now that I think about it, Megalupony is not the best plan of action, although, yeah, it could be. Can smack down the Denny, and also gonna get the red and blue action going on with our bench Pokemon. That means we have Quagsire and the other one, and now we go for the simple Sonic Edge, take two prize cards again. And looks like uh, against Blacephalon we do have a very favorable matchup. Only two prize cards left to take. And uh, that's going to be easy with the Silver Knight GX. Ditto evolves into Wooper and that's that. He could snipe our Ditto, but we only need one attachment of the turn to finish this game. And uh, that's that. That's going to be fantastic. Okay, Ultra Conversion, drawing some more cards. The good news is we are stamp proof thanks to this one simple Silvalli. Wonder what he's gonna do now. Gonna go for Injection GX or is he gonna snipe or ditto? Either way, we are gonna come hard with this uh, Silver Knight GX. We do have a retreat cost more thanks to this Absol, so people are now playing more Absols in their lists. Also, this guy can snipe if our uh, red and blue action works, so we can red and blue. Find Silver Valley, two more energies, get Quagsire, smack Megalupony down, and. Uh, at this point, we can even snipe 200 damage with the Puff Smashers GX. So I wonder what he is able to do at this point. Treasure, probably a regular Naganadel. Oh yeah, I forgot about this baby Blacephalon. Also interesting in this list, but uh, we actually skipped the third uh, three prize turn. Okay, regular Naganadel charging up. How many energies in the desk discard pile? Eight energies in the discard pile. Oof, that is insane. So many energies. He can get them all back, but still. Yeah, <laughs> he's very scared right now. We have access to the GX move of yeah, Venom Shot, going for Ditto. Yeah, go off for our Ditto, it's fine. We just get one energy over here and we're done. So we have to make sure that we... Yeah, we can even use Red and Blue, get another Silk Valley and get two energies from the deck immediately. One energy over here, I think that's the best plan. Okay, even one energy of the turn, so I'm gonna go for red and blue. That's how we go about this. And uh, yeah, let's get rid of Professor Oaks that we don't need at this point. And now we can uh, get Silver Valley. This guy, the one with the Silver Knight GX. We still have, yeah, lots of energies in the deck, which is fantastic. Red and blue, getting two energies. Ta-ta! We can now manually retreat. It's gonna be a three retreat cost thanks to the Absol in play. But that's the only thing we need is gonna be the Silver Knight GX, and that's going to be well played. So here comes Silver Knight GX. Better knocked out without a cost. Anyhow, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to mouse the like button, subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.